All right, just a quick video exposing a very dangerous Luciferian heresy preached by Mormonism, the cult of the Mormon Church started by the Freemason, you know, the Freemasonic astrological witch known as Joseph Smith. Uh, there's been some stuff that cover that covers that his ties to Freemasonry, but they teach a very dangerous Luciferian, you know, the the heresy that or, that originates from Luciferianism that basically man can become God. You know, the 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 Hindus teach this, the Roman Catholic Church teaches this, the the Eastern Orthodox, which is just an offshoot of Roman Catholicism, preach this heresy, and you know another end times cult, the Mormon Church preaches this her this uh, dangerous Luciferian doctrine as well. Okay, this is from the teachings of the of the prophet, quote unquote prophet Joseph Smith. This is page three hundred forty five to three hundred forty seven, and also page three hundred fifty four. Talks about after you become a god, uh, sorry, a good Mormon, you have the potential of becoming a god. Yeah, and I'm going to show you this is a Luciferian doctrine. This is what Satan believes, and this is what Satan desires. This is from the Doctrines of Covenants, uh, section one hundred thirty two, verse twenty. Then shall they be gods, because they have no end. Therefore shall they be from everlasting to everlasting, because they continue. Then shall they be above all, because all things are subject unto them. Then they shall be gods, because they have all power, and the angels are subject unto them. Yeah, you're becoming a god. Well, who 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 uh, desires that? Well, it's Satan. It's Lucifer. Hence why I say it's Luciferian uh, heresy. This is in Isaiah chapter 14. Verse 12 down to verse 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation of the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. What you just saw there from you know Lucifer's little, little monologue there was no different than what you just heard heard me read from the Doctrines of Covenants, section 132, verse 20. It's the exact same thing. You become your own God. You rule over. You have, you have the angels submit to you and everything else. You're worshipped. It's no different. Hence how you know this is a Luciferian doctrine. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. See, this heresy taught by Joseph Smith is nothing new. It goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, to get you the question what God said. It's what Lucifer does. Uh, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruits of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Look at verse 5. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. See, Eve fell for that heresy, and apparently Joseph Smith fell for that fell for Satan's deception of becoming your own god. Hence why you know that Mormonism is Luciferianism. And then when you mention you know, when you tie it back to the fact that Joseph Smith was a Freemason and was into all sorts of astro you know, astrology and witchcraft and everything else. Yeah, it's full on Luciferianism. It's no different than what you'd see from the Hindus. You know, becoming you know becoming one with the with the uh, becoming one with the, with the divinity or whatever else the occultic New Age stuff. You hear it from the New Age movement. You hear it from the Roman Catholic Church, the Jesuits. You know that that, that you know man became God, so that that Christ became man, so that man might become God. It talks about that in the Catechism. It's no different. It's Luciferianism and Mormonism. Mormonism is based. You know, the, pro the prophet of Mormonism fell for the exact same lie that Eve fell for in the Garden of Eden. So I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived by Mormonism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.